What's good y'all, Riley Beats here, and today, I think this is kind of an exciting thing, personally, this is just my own excitement, I guess. Um, we're going to be going through some uh, some beats that some of y'all have sent me through, I think I got two pulled up, um, we're just going to be going through some beats that y'all sent, we're going to be fixing some things, a few things have been asked of me, so I'll answer some of those things while I'm going through them and everything, I have one opened here, I'm not sure if it's on screen yet, that's kind of up to Veil, vale, because Veil... Vale, He'll act like I make him work, but realistically, he puts me to work. I can't leave this room until I record six videos a day, so I'm kind of, I'm in a difficult position, you know? So, with that being said, if you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, it would help my position. It would let me get freed from the evil clutches of Vale, my editor, the homie, you know? I'm paid to say he's my homie. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the and honestly, you might appreciate it too. Also, if we get to 250 likes, I'll give a few lucky commenters a free copy of the Elysium one-shot kit that I worked on with Faded Wave. So let's get right into it. Here we have a, uh, a beat from Gabe004, Gabe004, and pretty much he's uh, he, he said, I don't know how to make beats. And we got a lot of interesting things here. I went through it very briefly. The first thing I noticed is all of these are like labeled wrong. Like this one says hi-hats, but it's the piano. But Loki, there's like some potential here, like it's kind of hard. But the mix is off, so we're gonna go through the whole thing. We're gonna go through each channel individually. So first things first, we're gonna go through this 808. Let's see what we got going on with 808. Okay, that looks like that's pretty much all that we got with 808. Then we got this, which I think this is just the clap, but the clap's not even going through. And we have the hi-hat on here. Why is it side-chained to the clap? It's not side-chained, it's, it's routed to the clap. That is a very weird thing to do. We're gonna fix that for sure. Then we have the piano here, which uh, honestly, in my opinion, is a bit too quiet. Cool open hat, I like that. And then this is, what is this? Okay, we got a perk. Interesting, okay. So I don't know if we'll be able to get too much into a beat switch, which you were asking about, but we are gonna fix this, what we got here, and I will most definitely be sending all of these back. So first things first, let's just uh, delete these patterns because we have duplicates, and I don't really like working with a messy workspace personally, unless I'm working with Fade Wave, because he keeps it like clean but messy in a weird way, if that makes sense. I'm gonna split them all, and we're gonna drag them down here so that we can kind of see everything. So first things first, I'm gonna make sure everything's going to eight bars because we have a bunch of things going to eight bars, and a bunch of things not going to eight bars. I'm gonna clean up all of this as well. Like there's not really much going on in the mix. The only thing that's interesting here is you have like the the hi-hats routed to the clap and then you have a limiter doing a side chain, but that's not really how the side chain's supposed to work. So I'm just gonna reset all of these real quick. All right, um, so on the master, we have Edison for some reason. I'm just gonna put my personal master preset on here. It's in the in the Elysium one-shot kit under the presets. It's my master presets, what I use to master my beats. I showed it in my mixing tutorial, it's nothing crazy. The 808, we're gonna come in here and we're gonna mix this real quick. The 808's actually kinda good. I'm just gonna throw a little bit of EQ because I want some of the low mids to come out a bit more. The clap is way too quiet. So when you're mixing, you kind of want to have it be like 808. Then you'll have like your clap, everything else pretty much. The clap sample's fine. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it's it, it, it'll do. I'm gonna boost it in the like lower high mids just to bring out the uh, the depth to it a bit more. Channel three is empty, and then we have the hi hats in four, and they're still routed here. So I'm just gonna unroute those. I like to personally add a phaser onto my hi-hats and then I'm just gonna turn down the mix knob. We're gonna mess around with the 808 too. I think I kind of have an idea with the 808 on what I'd do with it. I like the piano. So I'm just gonna add some 808 notes just cause I feel like there could be a bit more bounce going on with the 808 cause it is a bit on the dry side. Like it's just hitting every, the first beat of each bar. So let's just go off the notes that we have here available to us honestly the hi-hat's fine i'm just gonna randomize the velocity a little bit just for fun and then randomize the pan a bit piano i like the piano to be honest with you it's it's an eerie sounding piano i think the piano's fine you are using fl keys so i'm gonna add some reverb to it bit of delay and then let's throw some eq on top so you wanted to ask about beat switches i'm not too sure because you don't really have many layers here you just have one melody layer and then a bunch of drums pretty much here something you can do and i'm just gonna go into the elysium one shot kit that i have and i'm just gonna change the instrument and that can kind of make a big difference too. Let's just copy this over and let's make this unique. I 
I don't know if you have grow speed, but throwing grow speed on here just because it's the same melody pattern and then you just throw grow speed on it and then we'll half speed it. We're going to cut some of the lows after the grow speed. We have the drums here. I'm going to arrange a little bit better um, just so that we kind of have things leading into each other just to show you kind of how to do a beat switch. So here we need to kind of make some form of transition just because it's a little a little rough around the edges and so i think we'll cut out all the drums here and then something we can do duplicate this over and i want to keep that end of this because i kind of like that it leads in nicely here I'll just save that for now. We'll come back and I'll export it as a zipped loop package and I'll send it to him. By the way, I feel like this is a good time as any to mention this. If you want to submit a beat to send, you can message me on Discord. You can send it to me on Discord. That's kind of the way I would personally prefer. My email is available too. You can send it there. I don't check my email as often as I check Discord. So if you send it on Discord, there's like a way higher chance that I will go over it. There's a link to my Discord server in the description. There's also a link to the Elysium one-shot kit, which I used for the last bell sound, which low-key kind of went hard. So you can join the Discord, you can message me privately, because I think that would probably be best if you send me an FLP. You do have to send it as a zipped loop package. And preferably, if you export your, your melodies into uh, Wave or MP3, that works too. And that would also be preferred, just so I don't have to run your, your VSTs, because most of your VSTs I might not have, or some of them I might have, you never know. Yo, Analog Lab, you've never taken this long to open for me. You know what? I think this is as good a time as any to do a Q&A. Well, I did a Q&A recently. I didn't actually answer any of the questions because, you know, sorry. But I ran a Q&A where I basically said, if I did a Q&A, what questions would you want? Like, what questions would you want to ask? Um, so I'm just going to pull that up. And why not ask answer a few questions while we got time to kill so first question we're gonna go over is by from ganja how long did you make beats before you sold your first one i think i was roughly making beats for five six months before i sold my first beat um and, and the way the sale came was i was just posting beats on youtube someone found a beat they liked and they used it for their ep um a good way to sell beats too is networking like reach out to people i would really recommend like finding an artist you like and working with them though someone said do you ever feel like the beats you're making are repetitive and sound similar? If so, how do you get fresh inspiration? I kind of gave up on having inspiration when making beats or like going into making beats a long time ago because I found it to be very limiting. Like I'd walk into making a beat and I'd be like, this is kind of what I want. And I would start off, I'd find something I liked, which I know I could take in a different direction. I would just be stuck on focusing on that one direction. So I'd just be stuck on focusing on that one direction as opposed to taking it into a direction where it's already got the potential to go. So it's more of just going with the flow. So I would open up, or what I do now is I open up FL keys, as a lot of you may know. I just lay down a melody I like and I tweak it, I mess around with it. And then from there, I kind of see where it's going and I, I take it the rest of that direction. So instead of just coming in with, I want this, I come in with a clear mind and I just start making music, whatever I'm feeling. And then I take it in the direction of that for the rest of the way, which I'm some, that's something I'm trying to do more with the videos going forward too. So we got a question here, two questions actually. Number one, is there anything that inspired you to make this channel? Making music, honestly, a good way to get yourself out there is just putting yourself out there. And I thought, why not put myself out there? So I started posting my beats, I started posting um, my content through through shorts and slowly over time, the, the channel kind of just formed into what it is now and i kind of take that same approach with making beats in general you know you start out with something you put yourself out there and you just kind of keep going in the direction that that's going kind of go with the flow a good bit question two what's your favorite genre my favorite genre i think is a tricky one because I, I deeply love trap music like i have a deep love for trap music but i also deeply love 
punk music and that's more of like a like a nostalgia thing i listened to a lot of punk music growing up and trap music was more of like i, I fell in love with it when there was that gap between punk and trap bridged together so you had like Lil Peep, uh, Juice World, and X and hearing the, their music really bridged that gap and so I loved it because it has this dynamic to it where it can be almost anything like you have country trap songs you know you have pop trap you have R&B trap you have all sorts of different kinds of trap so trap is just very dynamic and, and it can be almost anything you want like Rage is, is trap and EDM mixed together so yeah trap is just very dynamic So we're getting this one from Tactical Chicken 7. Pretty pretty legit name. Um, and what he said, let's double check what he said. He said, I don't think there's much wrong, but it feels like it could be better. Intro might also be too long. So we're gonna take a look at it. It sounds mostly like you're, you're a little confused with arrangement. We're gonna open that up. I'm gonna be missing a lot of the sounds, so I'm just gonna throw in my own sounds. And it does look like a fair bit is coming from GMS, which is good and fine. So we have this, this GMS, this is a pretty long intro. We're missing, do we have, Yes, I think most of this is from the 10k one shot kit. We're gonna turn off loop points on everything. Okay, let's let's give it a listen. So I'm a little confused because this says it's supposed to be an 808. So I'm just gonna go into the 10k one shot or the, not the one shot kit, 10k mega kit wherever that is and i'm gonna throw in the sound that i think you meant which is this because for some reason there's an issue with that i don't know why so off the rip we're gonna focus on the melody first we have this little section here what scale are we in um yeah this kind of looks like a minor let's just hop over to a minor real quick um this melody is a little confusing just because this part here overlaps and some of the notes feel a little off with the, the chords i think if you're gonna have this you need some kind of rhythmic thing going on here also i would cut here because these overlap and it just doesn't work out as well as i'd hope so i think just adding this little phrase here kind of spices this up and it keeps that same energy that you had going on there i'm gonna shorten this one as well um these notes overlapping just doesn't sound too great in my opinion This last bit doesn't really fit in, I feel. If you notice what you have here, the rhythm the rhythm that you have established here didn't line up with what you had there. So I'm just gonna try and copy that same rhythm. That's just something to keep in mind. Like if you have a rhythm established within your melody, you don't wanna stray from it dramatically, which is something you're kind of doing over here. Like the, the rhythm of the, the melody is getting a little, a little wonkier as you go. Like this, this is fine. This kind of lines up with what you have here. I'm just trying to make the, the rhythm of the melody kind of line up and match together a bit better. This melody looks like you just kind of layered the melody. Yeah. I'm going to copy this over. And then this is your top line, apparently. I think you could have a really cool run go on here. Ooh. And I think you could copy this kind of same thing over. But let's go. We got the chords here. What are you doing with the chords? You just EQ. But when you do this, this still leaves a little bit of frequencies playing here. So something you can do instead is just bringing it to this setting and then dragging this to that setting or you can have it any. You got a bunch of options, really. Um, so you had it pretty wide, so I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not sure why we're cutting the high end, but that's fine. Um, I don't really think we need this EQ because there's nothing really happening. Like the high end's pretty empty. Same with this one, like there's not much really happening. Especially like we're cutting all these frequencies, but there's nothing going on there, so we don't need to cut those. So I noticed on your master you have a fruity limiter and soft clipper. That's not default soft clipper at all. Something you'll want to do with your master typically. You'll want the default soft clipper, is what the settings are. Let's go through the drums one by one. So we got the 808 here. And I noticed the 808's a little quiet. We don't need to hard cut 808s like this. This is something we all need to stop doing. Don't hard cut your 808s because some of the juice comes in in that higher range like that's what you can hear on a laptop speaker on a phone speaker we're gonna boost the low mids actually so the kick's not really punching through again we don't need to cut this we got to do a lot less eq it's not that complicated we don't have to do too much cutting we don't cut out a lot we're gonna boost the kick here it sounds like they're uh, clashing a bit let's reverse the polarity You can hear the kick punching through the mix a lot harder. Also, it sounds like something weird is going on with the kick. We don't need to have the kick playing different notes. So then what do we got here? The clap is actually not too bad. The 
Perk's fine, but I would just bring it down a little bit. We got a hi hat here. Hi hat's fine. I personally like to add phaser to my hi hat and then bring down the mix knob. I'm just gonna do that. One thing I do know is the melody is a bit too loud, so we're gonna bring that down all together. You can just press uh, Control and Shift and then click all of them if you want. I know there's a better way to do it, but I don't remember how. So let's get into arrangement. You have quite the arrangement here. This is a four, almost five minute beat. That's uh, a little bit on the lengthy side. So first things first, we don't need to bring in each sound individually. Like your intro here is a minute long. That's a long intro. So first things first, we're gonna cut these. You have these two layers. So we're gonna bring those in like this. And then we can have like a pre-chorus section, cut this out because we don't need all of that. And then we can bring in this. You had a cool, interesting idea with coming in of the 808s. So maybe we actually just remove the pre-chorus, which for the first part, we're gonna remove this layer just for some variety. So now that we have the hook, we're gonna need a verse. And your verse idea here is pretty much just removing that lead sound. But I wanna get a bit more creative with it and we'll cut out the kick we'll cut out the open hat and we'll cut out the perk and we'll do a cut right here so this beat's being cut out and then we'll just have the kick 808 clap and open hat going here and then i'm just going to copy this over i think we could remove these melody parts for this and it'll just be the chord so it's uh dying down the energy a bit which will go back into this uh little bridge section nicely so i like how that's turning out we're going to copy this over and then we're just gonna have the fade out here. I don't want it to be too, too long. We're gonna cut it down from almost five minutes to be four minutes. I think we could honestly just fade out with this section and it should be good. So that is gonna wrap up the video. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you very, very much. Yo, I ate some smoked salmon today. It made me feel sick.